Croatian squad for the matches against Slovakia and Azerbaijan is Borna Barisic. Yes! Stunning free kick. You could be shit you want defensively if you score with that, son. Not really, but... 7-0, Rangers won. Barisic just shot the Oh, it had to be him. It had to be him. Rangers, we love you. We love you, Rangers. What's going on everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be me going over my thoughts, the predictions, the outcome of the match just past there against St Mirren. We'll start this off by talking about the team lineup. This was always going to be questions over who was starting because of the big game on Thursday and of course the Old Firm on Sunday coming up. So there was changes in the back line, Holanda and Borna came in. Me personally, I know a lot will agree with me, I'm not the biggest fan of Borna, I think he's had enough chances, I know, I know, alright, hold on, hold on, slight, slight me after, slight me after, but I was very nervous seeing him start, and especially with Hollander at the same time, because I didn't think Hollander was proven enough, like he didn't really get tested against each five, so I thought them two playing together might have been a bit of a sketchy change in the defence, but yeah, okay, I was wrong, but going into the midfield, you had Kamara, Davis was rested today, Aribo and Jack, and then the front three of Jones, because Ojo was at what a shift he put in at Warsaw, and the four with Arfield up top. Now that team lineup I thought was strong enough. I predicted 4 0 today, so I was a bit off on that, but of course the win is all that mattered. I've asked you guys what you think the score would be. 52% of you have said Rangers to win by three or more goals, so I wasn't the only one thinking we would have won that by more goals today, especially wanting the goal difference ramped up because that other lot have been scoring for fun at the start of the league so far. 45% of people have said well done to use, just Rangers win, so by one or two goals. A draw 2% and St Mirren 2%. We started off very bright, there was a chance for Defoe that you're thinking he's going to gobble that up all day. I actually went to celebrate and then I went, oh Jesus, I, I, I can't believe you missed that, that's something that he would score 9 times out of 10 and just unfortunately that was the one time that he's not put it in the back of the net and it would have completely changed the game because of course there was points at the game we were really struggling to break down the literally 11 men inside the box and I thought it was a bit weird as well the way we were playing very narrow at times in the first half. Jones kept coming inside and Arfield, we know he doesn't like to stay wide, he comes in and plays off the front um, but it was so weird because they were literally condensed in that one area Borna, we know he doesn't get forward on that left hand side and if he does, he stays back, he doesn't want to take someone on to put the ball in, so Tav was the only, only guy whipping balls into the box. We did have like a few chances but it was so so tight in that area, the best options were playing it wide and that's why Tav pretty much created the most of the chances in that half. We had one beautiful cross in, Arfield got it on the end of it and the goalkeeper took his shoulder or head was it, that just don't know how much he knew about it. But that stopped that um, from being 1-0 from there. And Jones as well, I think he was a bit hesitant from across from Tav. It, it, like, almost, it was at a height where he's went, am I going to kick this head? And then, and then they done nothing, didn't really feel like commit to that. But So we did have our chances to get the floodgates open early. So Marin did give us one or two warning signs, though. One of them was in the first half. I don't know if Shagger thought it like, got lost in the sun or if he just misjudged it or what, but it was a cross ball, it was never a shot. He just kind of left it and it hit the outside of the post, luckily, and went out the way. That, that was so close to being in, and oh, that would have been absolutely terrible having to play against them with a lead because they had something to hold on to even more. And as you've seen by the outcome today, we were struggling to actually get the opportunity to score. It got to half time in the game, and I was begging. The change I wanted to happen was Arfield to drop back in because I think Kamara and Jack, they like to sit deep. Of course, Jack does, but Arfield kind of, um, sorry, Kamara plays like in that middle but it doesn't really properly push on so I would have liked to see Arfield drop back so it was Aribo and Arfield bombing on for the midfield and I'd have liked to have seen Hasty come on to really bring the wide players into this game more and stop trying to go through that condensed middle area I thought uh, it would have been a good chance for Hasty to get a run out today because it was Tav was the only option being wide today I thought Jones had a quiet game don't think it was like, bad per se but it just never really got into the game much Pretty clear to see quickly in the second half that it was going to be more of the same, more of some of them would have been happy, they'll happily walk out with a 0-0 draw there. 
and it was just us trying to find that moment of magic from someone, the long shots, but it, because we started to have a few, Jack had a good long shot, it, it was almost screaming for someone to have a dig from outside the box, so a lot of time we were trying to pass, 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 pass in the net, which we actually do find ourselves confused about in a lot of Rangers games recently, to be fair, uh, screaming for more people to take shots from outside the box, but one of our best chances were Jones got in behind, cut it back to Arfield, he unfortunately had a heavy touch, which St Martin were just all over it. Every time anyone had that ball, the four especially today, as soon as he got that ball, although he had good footwork to try and get away from them sometimes, they literally had like three or four players around them, so there wasn't much chances for him today, except the one two minutes. So we won a free kick and up step Borna Barisic. Pick this one out. Kick. It is Barisic. Yeah, so fair play to him. That goal was an absolute peach and you've seen how much it meant to him. Hopefully, hopefully now that does boost his confidence and maybe there is a really good life back in there that will possibly come out now, but if that's not going to boost your confidence, I don't know what else will because you could see the goal meant so, so much to him. I don't know if it was because he was kind of biting back at the criticism going, ha, look at me, I've scored type thing, but hopefully that brings out a better player in him and he actually starts playing forward passes and <sighs> I guess be the player that we know he can be or we know he should be. Now we were sitting on the 1-0 lead and I was you know, having heart palpitations of Kamarok thinking about them nicking a goal. I'm thinking, please, 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 let's get a second goal here. Morelos came on to try and do that because I think Gerard as well, knowing because St Martin didn't really change their game plan. They were just sitting in, hoping that they could counter and nick one and take a point away. Alfredo came on and he was, he was creating spaces. He was good. He always finds spaces to shoot. He was unlucky not to get a goal, I thought, towards the end. But thankfully... What a sitter it was. Uh, one of our players down the right hand side just got away from Bonner, just enough to space to hit across, then it went behind Tillander, and the guy just kind of uh, froze. It just hit his feet and luckily bounced into the hands of McGregor, and that was pretty much all she wrote for that. But thankfully, that guy wasn't properly clued on because that was a sitter. I'm just going to go over now who I thought was man of the match and what you guys had to say about the game. So, from a poll on Twitter after it. We had Ryan Jack winning the things, 58% of the vote, people thought he was absolutely solid. For me, he was a man of the match today. I um, don't think there was many standout players, but I thought Jack was brave today. Um, he was trying to make things work. I don't really think there's too many options to give man of the match to today, just because of St Man's play style. Second, Bonner Barisic, of course, his goal, and then Tav came in third with 12% of the votes. Go through some of your guys' opinions here. We had Bob saying, can't complain, a win's a win. We're currently sitting top of the SPS, SPL for a few hours at least. Comfortable enough, I thought. Rather frustrating. A repo, Bob saying, man, a match for him. Fair enough. Although I chose Jack on the poll, glad to see Barthage having a decent performance and getting his goal. Fair enough there. Darren Clark, he was at the game today and he's saying, wasn't expecting a big score line, especially when they have 10 defenders sitting in a box, which literally, it was so anti-football, it was disgusting. We've got Flat Earth Boy here. Okay. Then take the win, very defensive and hard to break down, but again, we, we would have drawn that game last year. Two more wins before the break and everyone is happy. Hashtag 55. We've got Ian McDowell here saying give... I'm going to give it to Borna, seemed better today, and my god, what a free kick. Can't complain about the free kick, and one last one I'll read out here is from JB1872. He says, these are the type of games we did not win this last year. 55 is coming. Now, that is a comment I cannot disagree with at all. We've done, drawn that game all day last year. They are the sort of games and the sort of grounds that we went to. That's the teams that we couldn't beat. Right, we complained about not getting enough goals, but last year... We were like drawn or getting beat at these type of stadiums, so it is all in it's positive, it's almost an upwards, and hopefully we can find that little bit of magic as it can. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows if we come back? I'm not even going to bring that up, that's for a different video altogether, but I still think we lack. Is it the fact that we're trying to play narrow today? Should we be playing the wings more? Should Borna get forward more? Jones needs to stay wider. Will we play another winger like Hasty in the right hand side? Give him a shot. Barker when he's fit and up to speed. Who knows? But the big, big games are coming up now. 
Warsaw is going to be absolutely huge. I will, of course, be vlogging that, vlogging the atmosphere, vlogging the loading before it, and then, of course, for the old farm as well, we're vlogging that full day. So, if that is something that interests you guys and you have watched them past videos, and if you're still here, subscribe if you haven't already and leave a like on the video. But that is going to be it, guys, for this one. We'll catch you in the next one. It'll be Thursday. Hope for the best in that one. Thank you for watching. See you later.